Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are trucking right along with uh, another uh, figure review. Uh, this time we have Cloak and Dagger, Marvel's Cloak and Dagger. Um, we've already had these these two uh, quite a while ago. Uh, they're pretty early in the uh, history of Mini Mates. Uh, they, they gave us a uh, you know uh, an update to it, and it's very welcome. They did a really good job with it. Uh, you know, as for uh, build a figure part, this is the legs that come for uh, come you know for Shriek or whatever. So um, yeah, welcome, welcome update in my opinion. Uh, let's open them up and look at a tray shot. So yeah, cloak doesn't come with anything. I'm sure there's a stand back there, but uh, other than that, he doesn't come with anything, which is just fine. That cloak is awesome. Uh, yeah, that's the, the the old one is really cool too, but uh, this one's way better. Um, and then, of course, the Shriek legs. And then uh, Dagger has an effect. We've seen that effect with uh, uh, Long Shot and maybe Bullseye. Or maybe I used the, the Long Shot one with Bullseye or something. But um, we've seen that effect before. Always good to get it again. It, it, it's perfect for her. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's take them out and take a look, closer look at them. So here the two are uh, out of the package. Um, man, that cloak on, on uh, you know, cloak is just amazing um yeah they they did a great job with that uh i used the old one i bought an extra of the old cloak and uh, used him for the hood the villain the hood he's uh, kind of a early 2000s villain uh, brian michael bendis kind of brought him to the forefront and stuff as a actual major player in the new avengers series uh, but anyways i use the old cloak but man I, I could see buying a second of this one and repainting uh it red like that villain, uh, this is a <laughs> this cloak is is uh, great. A lot of personality to it. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun to pull with him. I got ideas for him uh, that are gonna be cool. So yeah, I, he looks better out of the package than I than I could have imagined. You know, he looks way better. Not that he looked bad or anything, but he looks great. I really like what they did with him. No dagger. Looking at actually at her hairpiece, uh, she's got a really nice hairpiece on her. I'm not sure, you know, if I've noticed this one before, or all the detail to it. But you know, they put a lot of sculpting into it. I, I really like it. Um, yeah, yep, looks exactly like she should look. And these two aren't by any means big characters for me, but they they show up in a lot of the '90s stuff. Uh, I think maybe uh, X Force and New Warriors, and the, they're just they've just been kind of around. A long time as actual uh, street level players not as famous as daredevil but uh, still everybody knows them they've been in a lot of comics it's a welcome update it's nice to have a second version you know of them especially for as good a, of a job as they did with them uh, and the older ones are pretty old i mean they they are in the some like maybe the first 20 waves so um, they've done a much better job with the, the paint and the decals and the you know tampos or whatever they look uh mini mates keep just keep looking better and better so anyways uh we got a setup and back of course for them let's go to that so here we have a alleyway shot just with the two of them um i'm gonna have to do some adjusting to hide the wire in the back uh for cloak levitating um maybe move some somebody around a little bit but uh just ba just your basic uh alley shot that you would do with these two because uh, that's kind of where their their turf is or whatever so pretty simple um yeah it's just nice to have a group shot of uh, cloak and dagger so this is what i figured i'd start out with uh let's move on to the next shot so here we have our uh, next shot with cloak um yeah, this is kind of like he, his power is, uh, he kind of sucks people in his cloak, and then I don't remember what is what their deal is, if they see all their sin, or, um, you know, I don't, like, if, I don't know what it is, but it kind of freaks people out, so they got this kind of crazy looking look on this dude's pay, face, the, the purse snatcher, we got the victim that doesn't know what's going on, um, yeah, he, he, kind of cool, cool shot, uh, I like it, I like it a lot, um, yeah, then I gotta come up with one for Dagger now. So <laughs> I thought these guys would be a lot easier than they are. Uh, I got a bunch of cool shots with uh, them with the the rest of the Spider-Man Venom whatever team. 
but uh, right now this video probably is just going to be them solo, which still fits into uh, the comic series. You know, they're, they're by themselves. It's kind of how they're introduced. This is kind of going to be put in chronological order as if they just showed up. Uh, their their introduction into the Maximum Carnage uh, storyline. So, anyways, on to the next shot. So here we have uh, our dagger shot. Um, she's taking got down a guy with her light rays, whatever they're called. Um, and then I threw a cloak in the back. May as well have him in there. I don't know why I didn't put her in there for his, but um, whatever. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think this can be the final shot for this uh, two pack review. Um, there will be, you know, tomorrow. Um, or whenever I'll review the, the Venom doppelganger set and I'll do some shots with those. But I think what's going to happen is I'm going to, once that's done, I'm going to do a bunch of more shots just to kind of fill everything out, get the guest stars in there and then do a video with that, with a complete slideshow of everything in consecutive order. So that's the plan anyway. Um, yeah, so that'll be it for this, uh, video. Hit that like and subscribe button. Um, you know, thanks for viewing. I will have a link for my Instagram and my Facebook in the YouTube comments. So make sure you follow me on either one of those platforms. All my mini made pictures are on there. So anyways, thanks for viewing and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.